In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple and trendy looking logo design using Inkscape version 91. And at any point in this tutorial, you can look down over here at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which keystrokes and mouse clicks I'm using. So with that being said, let's get started. So when you first open up Inkscape, let's come over to the Align and Distribute Objects menu and open that up by clicking that icon. And make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that list. And then we'll come up here to the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. We'll open that up. And then up here, this button right here that says when scaling uh, objects, scale the stroke width by the same proportion. Make sure you have that turned off as it is on my screen. See, it's turned on there. If you, ha if you have it turned on like that, just turn that off. We're going to keep that off for this tutorial. And then we'll come up here to where it says View. Make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to Zoom, and we're going to choose Zoom 1 to 1. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So come over here to the Create Circles and Ellipses tool. We'll click on that. And while holding Control and Shift in the keyboard, let's click and drag on the canvas and create a nice round circle, kind of like that. And then we can come over to the Arrow tool. We'll click on that. Let's turn that red. And let's come over here to the Opacity and drop that in half. And let's just click and drag this over to the center of the screen. And then we're going to come up here there should be a little lock icon between these two input fields right here. You're going to make sure you have that turned on. You want to have that turned on. And then come over to the width column. There should be a, a letter W. And whatever numbers are in that, in that uh, column, we're going to erase them and just write in 400 and then hit Enter. So this will be a 400 pixel uh, circle. And then what we'll do now is we'll right click this and go to Duplicate. And we'll go to Stroke Paint and click the blue button to turn that on and then we'll come over here to the fill tab and we'll click the X button to turn that off and then we'll come over to stroke style and we're gonna give that a 25 point stroke it's already set on my screen so if it isn't on yours just erase it type in 25 and hit enter and then you should end up with something like that and once you do that let's go to path and we're going to choose stroke to path and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a square. So come over here to create rectangles and squares and hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas. Make a nice big square kind of like that. And you know what? Let's go to the arrow and click on that. Let's bring this thing a little closer. Let's make this blue and let's come over to the stroke paint tab and turn that off. You want this thing to be pretty big, bigger than the circle right here. About that size is good. And with it selected, let's click it a second time to bring up the rotation handles. And while holding control on the keyboard, click and drag one of the corner handles to bring this thing upright, kind of like that. We want these corners going up and down and then left and right. And then we're going to right click this and go to duplicate and then hold shift and alt and click on it again. And then come down here to where it says align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor. We're gonna click that button and it's going to line them up on top of each other. And then we can go to Path Union. Now the next thing we're going to do is hold Shift on the keyboard and click on this black ring right there. And we're going to center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And then we're going to go to Path Difference. And then we should end up with something like that. Now the next thing we'll do is let's come over here to the Fill tab. Let's turn that off. And let's come over to the Stroke Paint tab and let's turn that on. And then let's come over to Stroke Style and let's give that a three point stroke. So we should end up kind of like that. All right, so once you've done that, let's click on this red circle right here and let's hold Control and Shift. And let's grab one of these arrows and scale this in so it's just inside of, just on the inside of those two uh, little black uh, outlined rings right there. And once you've done that, let's come over to the stars, create stars and polygons tools. Uh, we're going to click this button that says star instead of regular polygon. Um, corners is going to be 200. Hit enter. And then just hold control and shift in the keyboard and create a star. It should, it might end up looking something like that. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this blue. And then we're going to come over to the stroke paint tab and we're going to turn that off. And then it should look something like that. And once you get there, click on the arrow and then click on the black ring right there. And let's center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. 
and then we can click off of it to deselect everything. Now let's click on just this blue star and let's go back to the star tool and we should see a little node inside of here. We're going to hold control on the keyboard. We're going to click and drag this node out to make these uh to make these star bits a little thicker. Let's say about up to there. And then once you get there, let's go back to the arrow and let's click and drag over the whole thing and let's make sure we have it all centered up. We're going to center it on the vertical axis and then the horizontal axis. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this, those two black rings in the background, but it's going to be hard to click on it with this blue star in the way. So we're going to hold Alt on the keyboard and then click and that should, that should um, select that. And then we'll go to Edit, Duplicate, and then while holding Shift on the keyboard, click on that blue star and go to Path, Intersection. And you should end up with something like that. Now let's turn the opacity on that all the way up and let's make that black for now. And then try to click on that, that black ring in the background. You may have to hold Alt again. You hold Alt and then click it. You'll know you have it selected when it chooses, when the, bar, when the black bar down here goes from up here to down there. So when I have this selected, when I have the stars selected, the black bar is going to be up top. But once I have the one below it selected, the one we want, there's the black bar down there. So with that selected, we're going to go to Path, Stroke to Path, and we'll turn the opacity on that all the way up. And then we're going to we're going to come over here to the star tool. We're going to click on that again. We're going to create another star. We're going to go to um we're going to change the corners of this to 5. And we're going to make the spoke ratio of this 0 0.375, I think it is. That should be it. And then once you have those values set, rounded 0, randomized 0, come over to the canvas, hold control and shift, and let's create a star kind of like that. Now let's come to the arrow over here. Let's drop the opacity on this on half. And let's click on this a second time to get our rotation handles. And we'll just rotate this around until it's upright. Maybe kind of like that. And then we're going to take this. We're going to shrink this down really small. We're going to hold Control and Shift on the keyboard. And we're going to shrink this thing down really small. We want this about, we want this to be about that size. And bring it up there kind of like that. And once you have it up here, hold Shift and click on the red circle and then center it up on the vertical axis and then come over here where it says align bottom edges of objects to the top edge of the anchor and click on that and it should place it right on top of that red circle and then we can click off of that to deselect everything and then we can click and drag over this and then we can right click and go to duplicate and then we can flip that vertically by clicking that button and then hold shift and click on the red circle and come down here to where it says align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor. We're going to click on that and it's going to put a copy of that star on the bottom of that circle. So once you've done that, let's click off of it to deselect everything and you can see where we're at now. And then we're going to click and drag over both of these right here. And we're going to go to Path, Union. And then we're going to click this a second time to get our rotation handles. And while holding Control on the keyboard, grab that handle, hold it with the click button, and while holding control, you can see we can move this thing around on an axis kind of like that. So we're going to make a copy of this at each of these positions. So let's go back to the, the main position up here. We're holding control the whole time. Bring it back up to the main position. Hit the space bar. And then bring it over here one step. Hit the space bar. Then come over here one step. Hit the space bar. Come over here. Space bar. And then one more. And for this last one, we're not going to hit the space bar. We're just going to let go of everything. And there we have it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these stars and unify them together. So just click and drag over all of that and go to Path, Union. And that should all now be one object, kind of like that. We can actually take the opacity on that, turn it all the way up. Now let's take this red circle in the middle. Let's hold Control and Shift and let's scale this thing down about that much. We're going to make it about that big. And then we can come over to uh, the Fill tab. We could turn that off. And then come over to the Stroke Paint tab. We could turn that on. And then we can come over to Stroke Style. It's at 25. That's a little too big. We're going to use 10. Let's try 10 and see what that looks like. Okay, 10 looks good, but I'm actually going to scale this in a little more. I'm going to hold Control and Shift. I'm just going to scale that in just a little bit more. Maybe that much. Okay, once you get there, let's go to Path, Stroke to Path. And let's come over to the Fill tab. Let's turn that off. 
and come back over to the Stroke Paint tab and we'll turn that on. And then come over to the Stroke Style tab and we're going to make that a three point stroke so we end up with something like this. And then we could turn the opacity on that all the way up and we can go to Path, Stroke to Path. Now we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another star. We're going to create a polygon this time. So come over here to this button that says Polygon. We're going to select that. And corners, we're going to use six corners. So erase that, type in six, hit enter. And then come over to the canvas, hold Control and Shift. And let's create a nice um, polygon, kind of like that. Make it so it's upright like this. You see how these two corners are facing perfectly up and down? That's how we want it. We don't want it like this. We don't want it like that. We want it perfectly up and down. And that should not be difficult to accomplish if you're holding the Control and Shift keys on the keyboard. So once you get it there, just let go and then come over to the arrow tool and then hold shift in the keyboard and click on this inner ring right here and we're going to center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and then we can click off of it to deselect everything and then select just this one right here and let's hold control and shift and let's just scale this either up or down whatever the case may be on your screen so it looks something like that we want to have about that much padding between it all and the width, the stroke style tab, the width should be three, kind of like that. Now the next thing we'll do is we're going to go to path, stroke to path. Okay, so we'll turn that into a path. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Bezier pen and click on that. Bring the cursor somewhere up here in the top left corner and just click. And then while holding control on the keyboard, just drag the line diagonally down, kind of like that. And once you get down to about here, click again and then let go of everything and hit enter. And it's going to create a line. Now we can come over here to the Stroke Style tab, but we're going to make that a three-point line. So we're going to erase that number one. We're going to write in three and hit Enter. And then we can go to Path, Stroke to Path. And then we can go back to our arrow. And we can right-click this and go to Duplicate. And we can flip this horizontally, kind of like that. And then we can click and drag over both of those little lines that we just created. So we have them both selected. And we'll go to Path, Union. And while holding shift in the keyboard, click on this polygon right here and make sure we have that centered up. We're going to center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis, kind of like that. Now the only thing left to do now is to create our wording. So I'm going to click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then I'm going to come over to the text tool. I'm going to turn the caps lock on. And I'm just going to click on the canvas and I'm just going to write the word logo. I'm going to make that bold. And then I'm going to come back over to the arrow. And I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to hold control and just scale this down until it's a certain size, maybe about that small. And then I can go to Path, Object to Path, and then ungroup it so it's now four different letters. And then you click off of the graphic to deselect them. I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take this O and I'm going to move this down here. And then I'm going to take this G, I'm going to hold sh uh, control and just click and drag this over here. And then I'm going to take this O and I'm going to move this up here. And then I'm going to take this L and move this about over here. Now we want to make sure everything's centered up. So I'm going to hold shift with this L selected. I'm going to hold shift and click on the polygon. And I'm going to center it up on the horizontal axis. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the G. I'm going to click the G, hold shift, click on the polygon, and then center it up on the horizontal axis. And then I'm going to click on both of these O's by holding shift and clicking on each of them. And then hold shift again and click on the polygon and center that up on the vertical axis. Kind of like that. So we should end up with kind of like something kind of like that. And the next thing we could do is we're going to create another circle. So click in the circle tool, hold control and shift, click and drag and create another big circle like that. I'm going to turn this red. I'm going to come over to the stroke paint tab and turn that off. And then come over to the opacity slider. Let's drop that in half. And then come back over to the arrow. Let's click on that. And let's bring this thing right about here. Try to imagine the wording of the logo going along the arch of this circle. So that should give you some kind of reference of where you want this circle to be. I'm going to put it right about there. And then I'm going to hold shift and click on the polygon and make sure it's centered up on the vertical axis. And then I'm going to click off of it and deselect everything. Now I'm going to come back to the text tool and click on the canvas. I'm just going to write um, design. 
I'm going to make that bold. And then I'm going to go back to the arrow. I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate and move this out of the way. And I'm going to edit that to say example. So we should have those two different words there. And I'm going to go back to the arrow. And I'm going to take both of these by holding shift and clicking on both of them. I'm just going to scale these down. They have to fit. They have to fit nicely within there. Okay, maybe a little maybe a little bigger. Okay, so once you that once you get it to about there, that's fine. I'm going to click on the word design and then hold shift and click on the red circle and go to text put on path. And it's going to take the letters and put it along the uh, the edge of the circle there. So once you've done that, I'm going to click off of that to deselect it and then I'm going to click on just this red circle and I'm going to click it a second time to bring up the rotation handles and I'm going to use this circle to move the text around because the text is now going uh, in reference to this circle so I want to make sure in fact I'm going to move this down a little bit something like that move that down to about there and once you get it at a point where you like it click on just the word itself just the word itself and then go to path object to path and it's important that you do that because if you don't when you go to delete this circle it's going to delete the wording too so it's very it's very tricky you have to make sure to do the path object to path with the wording once you've done that now I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to make this word example I'm going to make it go around the edge of the circle as well but instead of going around the outer edge I want it to go along the inner edge so how do I make it do that I make it do that by flipping this circle horizontally. So we come up here where it says flip selected object horizontally. You click that and nothing's going to happen on the screen or so it appears because this is a symmetrical object, but a big change happened. The, the, the wording's now going to go along the inner edge of this circle and watch, I'll show you. Click on the text and hold shift and then click on the red circle and we'll go to text, put on path. And as you can see up here, it's now going along this inner circle. I'm just going to click off of this to deselect everything. Click this again. Click it a second time to get the rotation handles. I'm just going to rotate this around to get this thing upright, kind of like that. And then I'm going to hold control and move this circle straight up so that the text comes along with it. All right, get it right to about there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to rotate this around just a little bit just to make sure it's exact kind of like that and then click on just the text oops I accidentally moved it click on just the text and go to path object to path and then afterwards we could take this circle click on it press delete and get rid of it I'm gonna turn the caps lock off and I think we're pretty much finished you can click and drag over this whole thing and group it together and I think this actually looks better when you put it on a dark background so I'm gonna come over here I'm just gonna create a big square a big rectangle I'm gonna make this um, a very dark gray, a little off black, kind of like that. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to come up here to where it says raise selection to the top. Click on that. Hold shift. Click on the rectangle and center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis. Click off of it to deselect everything. And then click on just this graphic and make that white. And as you can see, we're finished. We've created a very simple trendy looking um, sleek little logo design using Inkscape. So if you have any questions just let me know and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for watching.